Well, y'all, we've been in better campgrounds. We've been in better Corps of Engineer parks. I hate to say that. We're right here on site 39. It's got power, but it said it had water and it does not say, and it does not have water. And it says we're on the water and I'm gonna show you what it considers on the water. There's a little bit of water right down there. Yeah, but it does have a fire ring. It does have a picnic table and a lamp post. Uh, we had to level it up some and you see how low our front is. But we think they're redoing this because it looks like the power is new. They took out a couple trees there. Some of the, the front part of this RV park has, um, has much better and level spots. But if you look at this here, this all runs downhill. Yeah. But I mean, hey, we get a half price, $12 a night, not too bad. And there's site 40 and 41. They're really close together. I mean, as far as uh, Corps of Engineer Parks go, this is closer than most of them. But there are none over here on this side. You don't see any more until you get up there. But the water is right out here. You can't see any of it because of the trees. Oh, and by the way, sorry, did I not say where we were? <laughs> we are at Mark Twain Campground in Monroe, Missouri. There's the water and it is 99 degrees and it feels like 109. We are not happy campers. Whew. And we're supposed to stay here for two nights, but I don't know, we're thinking about leaving in the morning. And of course we have to go get water. So we're gonna have to go fill up our tanks. Since there's no water hookup at this site. Now the weird thing is, that we stayed in Poplar Bluff at People's um, Lake and we had full hookups for $12 a night. So we're like confused. But anyway, we're gonna have to go and fill up our bladder so we have water. Yay! Yeah, this is really close for another person to be camped right here. I mean, I would have moved it up just a little bit more, but I didn't design the campground. And their picnic table is right behind our bedroom. Yay! But the best part is, it's too hot to be camping and most of these people will not come out if it's 109 degrees. I'm just saying. So, we're gonna make the best of it. We got both the ACs running. We have a third, uh, a 30 to 50 amp dog uh, bone. Is that what you call it? Yeah, a dog bone. So we got both running. Got the dehumidifier running. I'm sweating my behind off, so I'm going inside. Talk to y'all soon. Let's go check out the women's restroom and see what it's all about. Hey, well, concrete floor. Let's see here, you got four showers on this end. All right. Oh, it's in the corner there. Okay, that's the way it is in these other two. But double sink there, hello. And five potty 
is in here. It's old, y'all. They need some revamping in here. This is the dump station and water. And this is how you go out of the park. Because when you come in, <laughs> when you come into the gate, that's one way. Both lanes are Both one way. Both lanes, one way. Which, I didn't know that when I left long ago. <laughs> this is the archery range. What's stuff out here? Mm-hmm. Right here. <laughs> Got the 10 foot, 15 foot, 20 foot, all the way down through there. That's pretty nice. Target practice. We're about to get a big storm here, folks. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. No, but these are just for target practice. You go up here, look. You go up here and stand up there, and then you shoot down at them. Yeah. for a big storm here soon. Rain on the other side of this pond. That's pretty nice. Well, y'all, I think we're a little spoiled. In Georgia, like at West Point, okay, it's north of Atlanta, it's a fantastic Army Corps of Engineer Park. And they have the campsites right down on the water. I mean, you can pull your boat right up behind your camper. It's awesome. So, I guess we're just a little spoiled we were expecting the same thing here but that's okay i mean that's why we rode down here so we could see so we could see what the water really looks like <laughs> y'all bear with us we're we don't know about these missouri campgrounds and i was wrong a while ago it is called frank russell corps of engineer park most of the sites in the campground, because there's there's a couple of the loops, but most of the campsites are fairly level, except for our loop. And there's only, what, six sites in that whole area down there. So, I mean, considering, I guess that's pretty darn good. I really like the equestrian campground, though. That was very nice. It's a nice park. I'm not putting them down or anything. It's just different than what we're used to. And it looks like they're in the process of upgrading this park. So we shall see. Thank you. 
our veterans. Y'all, this is pretty awesome. We had to get out. It's been raining. We wanted to go to Hannibal. That wasn't happening. There's a severe weather watch. So we decided to just check stuff out in the area. We went to the swimming area and we also came down here to the dam, which is close to the campground but you can't get to the water from our campground. So we decided to come and seek it out ourselves. So this is a nice little path right here at the visitor center to walk through. It's awesome. Nice and quiet, we're the only ones here. say one thing for that boy he loves to learn no matter what it is we are at the family restaurant in Monroe City Missouri everything is good mm -hmm. Bobby got the regular cheeseburger trip got the double bacon cheeseburger <laughs> and I got the pork tenderloin sandwich, but I'm eating it without the bread. Awesome. And we got onion rings, and they are fantastic. Everything is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. 